All right, so two more, uh, three more plugins, and we'll move on to the other plans for the day. Um, regenerate thumbnails. This one's pretty straightforward. Used to optimize your images. When you upload an image to WordPress, WordPress then creates several different versions of it, different sizes of that image. A big size for the for the original, a small thumbnail size, a medium preview size. So WordPress creates different versions of a picture. What might happen is that you delete a picture, and perhaps some of the those other uh, related images don't get deleted. So you might have uh, thumbnails and and uh, thumbnails and versions of the image that are kind of left over. That's what this is about. It will look at your uh, Im your media folder over here where all your images exist, and it will confirm that only the things that exist or that should be there are kept. Any sort of like thumbnail of a picture you don't even use anymore can get deleted. So that one is um, the same idea. Redirection. There's like no extra options. You you just Oops, not redirection, uh, regenerate, right there. It's just you just turn it on and that's it. So it says uh, these are all the thumbnails that are currently registered. There's these ones and these ones. Um, regenerate thumbnails for all 132 attachments or regenerate thumbnails for the 38 featured images only. So Skip regenerating existing correctly sized thumbnails. Yes, so the, it's pretty straightforward. You just go here, you click that. That one does take a, a little while. That one I would definitely do it as um, off off hours. Regenerate thumbnails will take time and slow down your site as it processes your images. If you've got a lot of images, it takes a moment. And the point of that is, again, to keep only the correct images, the optimized images, a slow site is detrimental. So this helps you speed up your site. Speeds up site, only keeping relevant images, cleans out old, outdated versions of images. Social media widget. This is one of many possibilities. I've used this one for a while, so this is the only reason I'm mentioning it here. But there's so many other versions out there that also exist. Uh, the purpose of that is to add social media plugin, uh, social media icons to your site. Now, just to get a sense of, there's so many of them out there. Social media. Here's looking at them. Social media buttons, 4,000 reviews, uh, blog to social media, auto scheduler, social media share buttons, 900 reviews, another social plugin, another one, another one. So there's so many of them out there. I just have one as an example. Here's social share icons, the ultimate collection. 1,800 reviews, social media flying icons, 30 different styles, 554. They've all got pretty good ratings. This is this is it right here, Social Media Widget by Accurax. That's the one I'm, I'm using. Not as highly rated as the others, but I've just used it for a while. I've already got it set up. It works fine. But if I also want to add the ability for people to easily share my thing to their Facebook or share my photo to their Instagram or whatever. That's what these icon. That's what these plugins are about. Yes. So if you take two different types of social media widgets, like one's called Ultimate and the other one's, and you put them in different parts of the page, does that conflict sometimes? It can conflict, and I'll note right here. Note: Try to use only one uh, plugin for one task. I can have two database cleaners. I can have two social media widgets, but they may conflict with each other because they're both trying to do the same thing. So I would recommend only use one for one task.
Yeah. If your theme does that automatically, you, you don't even need it. Yeah, if your theme already does that, then you don't need an extra plugin for it. It allows people to share your content to their profiles. So the purpose of that, purpose free publicity. Well, this is all that about going viral. How do how do things get famous online? How do products get more uh, visibility? Social media. So if you've got your products, your blog, your content, whatever, you want other people to see it and share it and, go, and spread out, well, all it takes is one person that has a lot of friends on Facebook for them to like your thing, share it on their Facebook, then their friends like it, their friends of friends, and then it's spreading more and you're rich. On the best case, best case scenario. Best case scenario, of course. Just like that. So it's, it's all about social media. Um, let me see how does that one look. Uh, social media widget right over here. It gets added. Okay, it's under this particular one. The thing about plugins is that they attach themselves to a whole bunch of different areas in your site. And then the way it would be right over here. So social media, I, I then tell it, OK, I want to use the Twitter and the Facebook and whatever, and you attach them. <coughs> Lastly, Yoast. Excellent plugin to help you with SEO setup. can analyze your site and tell you what's working and what's not. It gives you tips on how to improve. So when we've talked about, I need to develop my long tail keyword strategy, I need to figure out the keywords of my site. OK, I know that. Now I need to add it to my site. Well, where do I add it? It's the content that you write, yes. But it's also uh, the metadata. So for example, if I look at these blog posts, um, I wrote a blog post. Uh, from last month about uh, a comic haul. So I got some comics last month. And what I see here is a column with rankings, uh, like a stoplight. So um, red is that that page is not optimized very well. Yellow or orange is that it's medium optimized. And green is that it's optimized well. There's also a gray, which is it's not been optimized yet. So you see here the different ones. Uh, I don't have any that are red, well, except for that. Uh, but, and I guess that, but they're mostly green or yellow. Uh, my goal is to try to get them all to green or yellow is enough. Definitely not red and definitely not gray. And I'll show you how that looks in a moment. But we'll see here that ranks. every screen of your site from red to yellow to green and you should strive for yellow or green not red or gray okay well how do I do that is like this. When I'm creating a product or a page or a blog post or whatever, I've, I've written this pr particular article about the, the comics that I got there. OK, so I wrote that. And then below, it would have a little box here, Yoast SEO. It would give me a preview of what, the, what would this look like if people were doing a search. What would it look like on a Google search or a Bing search, Yahoo search? 
If people were searching for the keyword comic hall, this is how it would appear. The name of the article, uh, a little bit of preview text, the, the actual address. So based on that keyword, it then analyzed it over here. There were eight things that I did right, one thing that could be improved, and three things that are problems. Notice I don't need to get all of those problems fixed to have this whole page ranked as good. This whole page right now is green. It also shows it right here. This whole page has been optimized very well. Even though I still have a few things that are problems, um, I didn't link to any other page on my own site. Uh, I didn't use the keyword comic hall enough times on the article. Uh, I didn't use that keyword in the first paragraph. Even though those three errors are there, I still have enough good results that the whole thing is good. Um, the description, the meta description of this page does include it. The meta description, they should be more obvious, it's right here, edit snippet. The meta description right there of the article, what you would see on the Google search, does have Comic Hall. Um, Comic Hall right there. It does have the keyword there. It does also have the description itself is, is a good length. The, the title of the page, when I wrote up here, this is the title of this whole page. It says Comic Hall. It is there. It is also, the, uh, you need a, usually a minimum of at least 300 words of content for the search engines to find you relevant per page. I have 466, so I meet that. Um, links, I have two links that go out to another website. I have that. Do they have to go out, or to, can it be um, internal links on your Both. website? Both. Over here, I do have it that they go out to some other website. I don't have an internal one, and it's recommending um, I do one. Yeah. I have Yoast on my page, and every one is practically right. Hmm. Um, well, what happens? What happens if the you know the changing the layout of the page is going to change, or what if doing some of the things they recommend to do is going to change the entire layout of your page that you don't want? Hmm. Adding links and stuff like that, or changing titles. Well, I would honestly lean towards more of what this is telling you than layout. I know that aesthetically we might want it to look a certain way, but that could be a detriment to the traffic. If you do want visibility on the search engines and traffic and all of that, well, this is what's guiding us toward that. If our layout and aesthetics are preventing good uh, search rankings and such, I would lean toward trying to appease this more than a design. But if you don't care or it's not the biggest priority to get the traffic through search, because you could get traffic through social media and through email and through other ways, then I wouldn't adhere to this as much. So um, that's, this, that's the purpose of this plugin. You would basically um, page by page, post by post, product by product, go in and um, Yoast would give you the, the dots. Um, this one on the about page, I have it on, on yellow. Now there's overall SEO ranking and then readability. This is very readable, easy to read, that's part of the SEO as well. But in general, this is, this is an okay optimization. Like I said, I would recommend get most of your pages to at least okay, which is the yellow. I would recommend then going up higher to green if possible, but not every page is possible. I, I might not be able to write 300 words in the about screen, or I might not be able to do some of the things that it recommends here. Let's see, what am I missing here? Focus keyword doesn't appear in first paragraph. OK, I haven't used the keyword enough. There's no internal links. You have not used the keyword in an H2 or H1. The SEO title is too short. Well, I've called it About Me. Do I really want to stretch it out to say, All About Me, Victor Campos, San Diego? <laughs> not really. So some of them I don't have to fully um, try to adhere to if, if they really do change too much of 
of what things are. Yellow is, is good, is very good. Better than red, better than, than gray. So basically, yes, it's a lot of work. You have to figure out keywords and add them to your site page by page. This is going to segue us into blogging in a moment, but final questions on plugins and such. Does anyone have plugins that they might have used that you might think your classmates might be interested in? Yeah. If you want to add music to a page, um, there is a, a certain page. Um, there's a plugin for that. I don't remember the name of it. Now. It's something um, musically, I think. If you let me search for it. If you can find it, definitely let me know, but let me just search for Musical.ly. Let's see if that comes up here. Oops. Let me add new. And is it spelled like this? Musical.ly. Musical.ly WordPress plugin. Soundy. 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 Soundy allows any page or post to play a background music while it's displayed. Okay, cool. You can have some nice um, music playing in the background while you browse the page. Can it be set to individual pages or like everywhere on any page? Okay, cool. So let me just add that one in in case people might be interested. So all sorts of options of whether you want to auto play. music in the background of your site. Yeah, put some pleasant music. Music is so important with marketing. Uh, you know, you uh, marketing things, for example, uh, movie previews, the teasers and all of that. A uh, 30 second uh, music, I mean a 30 second movie preview with the right music can really entice you to watch the movie or to avoid the movie or if you're watching a TV show or anything like that, the music plays such a part in, 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 the, sh in the experience. So you could add that onto your own site, depending on your site. You could have soothing music, you could have driving music, and it could help, it could enhance the person's experience on your site. That allows you to upload your own music, there's no impact to the plugin. Upload, it just has to be an MP3. All right, any other recommendations perhaps if people know about a plugin they might have liked or recommend? Okay, well, let's talk let's go into the next topic of the day.